What's going on guys? It is Matt Freeman and I like to talk a lot and I'm currently on my way to go get cigarettes because of course I'm always out of cigarettes. It's a fact of life I think when you smoke cigarettes. They seem like they're always not there when they're supposed to be. But uh, it actually works out. This is my very last cigarette and I'm, I'm heading over to Mike and Rachel's for a cookout for Memorial Day. It's actually called Wiener Fest, the new name of it. Um, I don't remember if, if the, like, I don't know if this is the actual first year of Wiener Fest or if Wiener Fest had a, uh, if Wiener Fest had a, another day already. Like, I don't know if this is the very first Wiener Fest or if this is Wiener Fest 2. Regardless, the day where they just cook nothing but hot dogs, and uh, so they decided to have it today, and obviously I had to bite it, and Rachel told me the day before yesterday, I think it was, that they, they decided to name it Wiener Fest. so that, that's where we're going, Wiener Fest. the only day that wieners are good in, in your mouth, every other day, not cool at all but like I said obviously I'm out of smokes and I need more the only way I can get more is if I go to the fucking drive through so it's like okay I guess I'm going to the drive through I'm gonna get some cigarettes and then after I get some cigarettes and I'll drive to my Rachel Wait. oh I did um take my um, camera, so on the off chance that I actually record anything from Mike and Rachel's, I can add it into the video. Oh, oh sick. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm not too bad, yourself. I'm doing great. Can I get... Two packs of Marble Red 100. Red 100. And, uh, let's do two packets of Skittles. Two packs of Skittles, two uh, Red 100. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Have you too. Oh, that was horrible. That, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, was my stalker. Holy fucking race motorcycle. I always say holy, holy race car, but it's not a race car. It's a race motorcycle. So it's a race motorcycle. Yeah, that was my stalker. How exciting was that? Get to see my stalker on. on oh, yeah. Should have realized that. Damn it. It's Sunday. It's always whenever I run into her. I'm like, why was she there? And I'm like, all she does is work Sundays. And I'm like, oh, guess what? Today's Sunday. Doi. Makes sense why she's there. I always end up going on a damn Sunday. I need to just somehow write a big message, leave it on my fucking wall in my house that says, if Sunday, do not go to drive through Obviously, it wasn't that bad, but I'm sure, I'm sure, because I fucking know it's happened every time. Fucking, we just barely chit-chatted there, and I'm going to go on with my life, and she's going to go on with hers, and sometime this evening or tonight, she's going to message me, or wave to me, or something stupid on Facebook, and I'm just going to be like, bitch, come on. Come on, there's only so many times that you can fucking be all over somebody's nutsack and then turn you down before you gotta realize that you ain't getting it. 
I'm still confused and, and weirded out more or less by what I even did that made her fucking be the way she is anyways. You know, I won't admit, I mean, I won't admit, I will admit that I did hang out with her once, but when I hung out with her, it wasn't in any form of pretense of like, this is like a date or this is us hanging out because we like each other. It was just merely the fact of she was like, hey, I'm bored. Do you want to kick it? And, and at this point, I didn't know she was the stalker that she is. So I was like, yeah, I don't fucking care. I'm just outside hanging out with my puppy and my neighbor. And she's like, I'll come over. And then she came over. I hung out for a couple hours and she left. And I was just like, okay, whatever, you know. That was it. But then she was all like being all weird about it. Like, I had so much fun with you today. And I was like, uh-oh. See, normally I'm that person. So normally I'm the one that's like, I really liked you. I had a lot of fun today. And the girl's always like, oh, man, I was just hanging out to be friends. I didn't know this guy was trying to be up on my shit. And now that the tides have turned and I am in the seat in which the girl is, I was like, look, I just got to be nice to her. So I simply explained to her very nicely that we just needed to be friends. No, I wasn't looking for anything like that. I had just broken up with a girlfriend and I wasn't really trying to start another relationship and, and then it didn't stop for her. She was just like, oh, it's even better. That means that somehow I can be her replacement. And I'm just like, nah. On a, on a, um, a physical level, you guys are not the same. And on a mental level, you are ten times crazier than she is, and that's actually saying something, so. Oh. Enough with the bad. It's actually like 80 degrees outside right now. Um, it feels fantastic. I'm sweating my balls off because, um, if you can tell by the amazing shirt that's covered up partially, I am wearing the, um, the, uh, SpaceX t-shirt from, um, and they put fucking the car up into space. And it's black because, you know, space is mostly black. But that is not the only excuse. The other excuse I have is the fact that pretty much every single shirt I own is in the color black. Um, it's my favorite color. On top of, it's very easy just to buy all black shirts. But then here's the problem. Then it actually gets warm and or hot outside. And I sweat my balls off all fucking day. Because... It's hot, and I'm wearing black. I'm pretty much at Mike and Rachel's house, so I'm going to end the video now, and then the off chance that you see some videos after this, or maybe I don't even put this in because I cut it out, who knows, but regardless, if you like this video, a like would be much appreciated. If you're already part of the channel, you can share the video and see other pe show other people. Wait, you should subscribe, keep up new content, and, and if you're already part of the video, you can share the video and show other people how exciting it was to take this trip with me and see my stalker. And, now go to Mike Rachel's, and like I said, in the off chance I end up recording anything while at quote unquote Wiener Fest 2020, um, you know I might I might stick it in at the end or something. Who knows? I don't for sure, of course. But anyways, I love your faces. I'll see you later and goodbye.